Yes, guys, welcome back to another vibrations, the second reaction video I did on this year YouTube platform. The very first one will be on the BRBP TV platform. That link will be where in the first comment in the comment box below, guys. And of course, welcome to this year Mr. Dick's reaction channel, guys. Big up all yourself for definitely tuning in, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come from. With that said, guys, let us get into the vibrations for today. Right there. Now, brothers and sisters, we are seeing none other than what whosoever this individual is known as. Star boy, <laughs> according to my Trinidadian that the individuals right there, star boy is speaking in some sort of thing, and he has some interesting stuff to say. But sometimes you guys don't want me to do what I, to, what I want to do about Dominic. Everything is a question. Everything is a, a game. But sometimes you guys don't want me to do what I, to, what I want to do about Dominic. Everything. He says sometimes you guys don't allow him to do what he wants to do in Dominic. Is that what he said? But sometimes you guys don't allow me to do what I, have to, what I want to do about Dominic. What I have to do, what I want to do. So he he switched it up. Not what I have to do, but what I want to do. But sometimes you guys don't allow me to do what I have to, what I want to do about Dominic. Everything is what I want to do for Dominic, or what you have to do. I think there's a difference between knowing what you have to do for Dominica versus what you want to do for Dominica. What you have to do for Dominica is definitely elevating Dominica to a standing that it should be, but it's not. <laughs> you know what you want to do for Dominica is where Dominica is right now. In the gutter, okay. So, uh, yes, so if the individuals are allowing you to do this, I think we know the problem lies not with you, with the people. The question everything is a, a is, should give me you free me up. Everything is a question, everything is a is. Yeah, people have to ask questions. You're a servant to the people, that's why people ask you questions and you have to give the answer to the people. You are a servant to the people. But it seems like you want to reverse is what you want to do for Dominica, not what you have to do for Dominica. Interesting. You should give me, you free me up. <laughs> you can't free up, sir. We cannot free you up. You made a lot of promises and then tell people that the promises that you're giving is not sky in the pie, sky, um, pie in the sky promises. And then we find out it is actually pie in the sky promises you're giving us. <laughs> so people have to ask you questions as a servant to the people. <laughs> you laugh people laughing that way? That funny? You don't make for me up. Just tell scared, scared you say, just do what you want, my brother. But you're doing what you want already. <laughs> you just said what you have to do versus what you want to do. And Dominican shouldn't tell you nothing. They should not tell you, Terry, Terry do what you want. Not true? <laughs> and ha 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 ha, Like you're not doing that already. You, you rest of the time you have the others do what you want, my brother. <laughs> But you say you run things, that's scary. I mean, you say you run things, so you're doing things already. Ain't true. It's not true. <laughs> we all go to Dubai, you know. But everything you do, a road man have this, you do airport man do this, you do this man have that. Wait, what, what do you mean do this, scary? You have to actually do things for people to see you doing something, you know. You cannot say build road and you do doing the road and then you say you, you, you do the road. You cannot say you're talking about airport and then you you, you, you don't put the airport out there, but you're saying, oh, do airport, do this, do that, as if you're doing so much things. What have you done for the people that can actually elevate the people? That's a question I think Dominicans, every Dominican needs to ask themselves. What has the Prime Minister done to elevate the standing of the Dominican people? Or has he made the Dominican people dependent on him to align with that of which he has stated already, the new world order, the one world order that he has aligned, has, he, he and the DLP party has aligned themselves with? Where the people will have nothing, own nothing, and be happy, brothers and sisters. This is why I talk about the previous reaction, in the previous reaction, talking about what John F. Kennedy was saying about, ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country on the basis of freedom. It's not about, oh, let me go and paint the road. No, brothers, it have nothing to do with that. It's all about when the country has failed you, what are you willing to do for your country on the basis of fighting for your country's freedom or for the people's freedom? That is what that saying was all about. He's talking about what he wants to do versus what he had to have to do. Oh, scary, just do whatever you want. Really? So you're making promises to people you're not keeping and people are supposed to stay quiet. <laughs> <laughs> but everything you do, a road man of this, you do airport man of this, you do this man of that. That's, free me up, man. Free me up for the new year. Free me up for the new year. But how can people free up for the new year? And since when, when you came in 2004? Since 2004, almost 20 years. <laughs> you hear? What have you done for the people? 20. My God. 20 years, we. 2004, you came in, not true? 
and you're talking about freeing up the people, you increase your salaries about three or four times. <laughs> increase your salary, freeze up three or four times. And you're talking about free up. Already in the high salaries you're already getting, you, you increase your salaries again and again and again. Matt asked the important question, what was the reason why you guys increased your salaries and would that affect the, the country? You then telling Matt that you don't think that people should be asking him these questions. <laughs> oh, yeah. And people just letting that slide with that's crazy. <laughs> with everything you do, a road man of this, you do airport man of this, you do this man of that. That's you free me up, man. Free me up for the new year. Free me up for the new year. And he laughing as if it's a funny joke. He know. Boy, I tell you, you know he, he know what he's doing. There's a man that knows what he's doing, or whoever that leading him who is his master knows what they are telling him to do. I remember the, the, I think it was the first time, the election time, he get cold sweat. I think he had to go overseas and some for medical attention. It seems like he's comfortable now. He knows whatever happens is, is what it is, unless the people wake up. But it seems like the people want to stay silent, so he's very comfortable to say these things. Free me up! While the Dominicans are getting poorer and poorer. We should be one of the richest in the Caribbean, guys. One of the richest Caribbean islands. People used to live overseas, all overseas, and come down to Dominica for shopping, for, 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 for operation, for all sorts of things. Dominica is at the bottom of the barrel. Free you up, Mr. Prime Minister. What have you done for the people to finally free you up? Huh? There's a quote that I saw. I will, I will, we will talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just tell us when you're programming, tell us do whatever you want, my brother. Now, I don't think people understand what is going on there. It's kind of like the movies when they put things in movies and they tell you, oh, it's just a movie. They actually put out the information in movies for you to see what's going on. They're telling you what's going on. And then when you see it in reality, you'll be like, oh, well, we see that already. What's, what? That happened in true in movie? I see that way. Remember the whole Rona situation? There was a movie about the Rona situation. There was a movie about the Rona situation that happened with brothers and sisters. Outbreak and what they're trying to do. They literally tell you what they're doing. Scared is literally telling you what he's doing. Literally. <laughs> That's what he wants the Dominican people to tell him. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just tell Scared us when you're programming. So do whatever you want, my brother. Well, listening to scared press conference this morning, Dominicans are definitely living in a utopia, alas. Yeah. yeah. Far from reality, man. Far from reality. But, you know, that's how it goes. We vote in labor again. We vote in labor again. When our sugar high and the water fing cut, we vote in labor again. See, it's not like they don't know what's happening, you know. They know. Whether this lady is making a joke or not, Dominicans know what is happening to them. Forget whatever she's saying there. Dominicans know what is happening to them. They just stay in quiet. They're waiting for somebody else to step in, to step up to the plate, to do something. And they in turn, just in case that will work out, will fight against that person that's trying to rescue everybody. <laughs> Harriet Tubman it rem reminds me of man. I freed hundreds of slaves and could have freed thousands more if only they knew that they were slaves. But it's interesting to know that you are a slave and still decide to remain the slave. Boy, it's no longer if they knew they were slaves, no brothers and sisters. They know that they are slaves, but it's so comfortable. Hey, I am alive. At least I am alive. I have a little shock of my head. I could like that, man. No need to be elevating forward or even thinking, hey, I, in a, I live in a straw shack. If I actually side with my people and we move forward and whatnot, there's a possibility I could even stay in a mansion in the next 10, 15 years. But no, I'm comfortable in my shack, man. That's a heck of a thing when it comes down to the comfort zone. Brothers and sisters, we are so comfortable in our comfort zone. We don't want to change it. We don't want to get a little discomfort. Brothers and sisters, if you look at the whole sphere of things, when it comes down to life in itself, even our own bodies. If our bodies are constantly just relaxing, it has no stress, tension, nothing like that, brothers and sisters, that can release the proper hormones and proper chemicals in our body that can create um, 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 
and uh, create agents that can fight against these diseases, you know what's going to happen? It's going to become easier for us to get sick because then we are not active. This is why people are, who play outside oftentimes, they get their, their, their ability of... Their, yeah, the ability to get sick is lessened from the individuals who are inactive because their body is constantly in the fight or flight state, which is always a good thing for the human body. We're living in Dominica right now. People know that is happening and people just relax. What's going to happen? We're going to catch the disease and we're just going dead. When I don't have no money to feed your children or to pay your bills, we vote in labor. Of jail, we vote. You see, it's interesting when men know that. Men who have families have to then pimp out their wives and their girlfriends and stuff. Hey, oh guns, if you can what if you can get something from the PM now. Guns if you can get something from the, the government, the individuals now. Go and see if you can get something. Pimping their wife. boy. Well, that's what the people want. Voting labor again. Me for us if voting labor again. So even though there's me there. Brothers and sisters, I'm sure this lady is trolling right now, but I'm sure that Dominicans can relate to this. And people know other people who are doing these things because they know things. I talk to labor rights, you know, brothers and sisters. I talk to labor rights. They know things are bad in the country. They know. <laughs> but, you know, they will always say, whatever. It is what it is. As my party, we vote in labor. Again. <laughs> well, at least. Okay, then. Well, at least labor is in the home of the aged areas. Oh, scary. All right, scary. Oh, yeah. The lady still frightening. The lady checking, but wait a while now. Lady frightening. The lady checking, but what Mr. Touching my thing for now, boy? I'm guessing they're giving them certain things. What the food they're giving them? Well, a little Christmas chair. Nothing wrong with a little Christmas chair. I guess he's going to feed people. Well, not really. Yeah, I'm passing the trolley. I'm passing the trolley. Hey, but Prime Minister, you're driving nothing well, man. If the Prime Minister thing, well, the Prime Minister thing not working out for you, you should probably go and do that. You should probably drive trolley. You should be a trolley, huh? <laughs> driving that way of level of expertise. Hey, you have talent, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I take that back. You, <laughs> you drum in the lady. <laughs> you didn't tell the lady story. <laughs> you didn't tell the lady story, Jama. Yeah. It's have a song like that, man. Jam, one jam, two. I don't know. Well, I guess he's taking the food away or something, but. Uh, what a good question, Mr. Yes. The lady tell you torture? Huh? The lady tell you torture? What you do to help the lady why you have to torture? Hmm? What you do for the lady why you touching the lady? Maybe it's a grandmother that them. Maybe it's a grandmother. But your grandmother do see for a while. Eh? Yo, your grandmother do see for a long time. <laughs> 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 Take what I get, eh? Right inside the hog, nobody. You pass far from them, I find. I find. <laughs> hey. Boy, well, look at, look at that. Aren't, aren't you all just tired of listening to the man lies? Well, apparently not. Three decades of dishonesty. Uh, 20, 2004, you come in. Uh, 2004 to 2023 is not 19 years, no, brothers and sisters. Not 19 years. Well, 
Maybe my maths that were three decades this a day. Only know what decades is man. A decade is ten years. <laughs> three decades is thirty. <laughs> oh, probably talking about his involvement in the ministry. Maybe as a, a a minister of education as well. Maybe all that in it. Oh well. But we know lie lie pans on fire. That's true. But at least he, he he passing close. He passing. He passing the vicinity of the people. Making sure you don't touch them though. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I just <laughs> hey, well, some Dominicans are afraid to visit their own country because of an unstable and lawlessness, unstable and lawlessness government. Most of the individuals who commit crimes in the have some links with the DLP. Well, look what happened in the south of Dominica. Hmm? The prime minister say he don't know the speak, he don't know the partner. He only met them, met him twice. Well, I guess the Dominican government, even the Dominican government, the government of Dominica is laughable. Some Trinidadians call the Prime Minister of Dominica stupid. Yes, I've heard not just Trinidadians, I've heard other people across the place calling, you know, and not just the Prime Minister. They think the Dominican people are kind of slow, literally. And then have to be pointing out to say, hey, you know, it's the opportunities that Dominica lack in Dominica. Dominica is going through a brain drain, so the smarter most people who are, the ability, and not everybody, you know, brothers and sisters, those who can. Those who can will leave, because not just the, the smart ones that live in, some of the dumb ones who have good family that are calling them up, live in too. But a lot of the people who are smart enough will leave Dominica for them to find better men for themselves, and they elevate outside. But a, a lot of people are thinking that Dominica is slow, is slow people. They think Dominica is one of the lowest IQs in the Caribbean. I tell them, no, that's not the case. The problem with Dominica is Dominica lacks the ability for individuals to finally shine. But then again, it still comes back to the people who keep voting for the people to prevent them from shining. <laughs> that's that's another interesting one, right there. The government, of Dominica, well, I just said it. I just said it this right there. The government of Dominica is laughable. All right, brothers and sisters, people taking guns from DLP police force. What's next? Well, I find that's tr that's a weird thing. Movie alone with us, the other things we where they literally go and rob a police station. That's reality, there we they rob a police station. <laughs> hey, that is the audacity. And they know Dominicans are much investigators. That's probably why the people in the south, those white people in the south, decide to do the harm to the other white people because they believe that you know things is it's easy to get away with things. Oh boy, help us. What's next? How will we remember Starboy? Well, according to Trinidad, 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 and partner, I remember Starboy. <laughs> Starboy. We'll remember him as Starboy for sure. But of course, how will people be, um, remember you? They'll remember the lies you tell, you know, they'll remember the truths. And the truth of the matter is you were a terrible prime minister. It's sad for me to say these things, but it's true. Scary, Roosevelt Scary was a terrible prime minister. He did everything, apparently everything in his power to give the, the people the dregs and then utilize the big amounts of monies out there. Who knows? God knows what, what money is doing. There's no accountability for money to even know what is out there. Boy, I tell you, boy. So people know the truths. They might come and say nice things. You know, when you pass away, people say nice things about you, even though most, sometimes most of what they're saying is lie. <laughs> Well, you know, people will tell the truth, they will know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Dominicans have some strange people in, I mean, Dominicans have, have some strange, I, I will have to correct that. Dominica have some strange people, wee boy. Yes. Stop fighting Dr. Thompson for, I, that is one of the things I don't understand. The man is back, back on the leader again. Yes, he go versus and all those things. I personally think we need to have somebody inside Dominica. I think, but based off the circumstances that is present, it makes sense that he goes. He has to feed his family and those kind of things. Eh? This is why I think Lennox should be the one to take over. But then again, when it comes down to the economy, he's better in terms of, of, of you know, because he has a, a background in that and the things. His work shows for itself, especially in places, South Sudan, you know, St. Kitts, number of places. His influence has helped the economy. So he's definitely good for Dominica, no doubt about it. The issue a lot of people are having is that he's going overseas and so forth and so forth. They are not the leaders of the op opposition, you know, guys. Although we believe that since they are the, the, the height of, of, of the opposition party, that they should be on the ground doing work and whatnot. But maybe they can delegate their responsibilities to other individuals and when the time comes, you know. 
But that's is another topic right there, so let me leave that alone. Anyways, people are starting to fight Dr. Thompson for as if, Dr. As if Thompson is the problem of Dominica. Just like when people say, oh, let's bring another party in as, a, as if bringing new party in will help Dominica. There's corruption taking place, even in elections. Therefore, you need to have electoral reform, proper electoral reform that can help everybody. Then they're bringing in the DLP people, bringing in their people to say, oh, what they don't want is not what you don't want, is what will create the best possible outcome to have free and fair elections. It's interesting how humans are, you know, guys. What can benefit not just some, but everybody? <laughs> people fighting against that. This is why the great book calls human beings sheep. Yes, brothers and sisters, human beings are sheep. <laughs> Hey, they fighting the other people and fight does fight. Oh, they, that, 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 that. When the main problem, they're moving away from what is the actual problem of Dominica to try to focus on everything else. I think there's a psychological th term for that, you know. I, I, I get the feeling. I get the feeling. Well, I know it's there, but I get the, I just, it just clicked, but I, I can't get the word right now of what that term is. Anyways, let me continue right there. We don't have whole day. Security is the one who is responsible for destroying Dominica. I just said that. This is the first time I'm reading this stuff, you know, by, by the way, guys. Security is the one responsible for destroying Dominica. That is a fact. A fact. You can't tell me you got a set of money from CBI and you build one factory in an island we consider the nature island of the Caribbean. When it comes down to tourism, we say, let's go to tourism. What are the benefits that we see in tourism? Nothing. They put tree and lighting tree for dumb like for for taxpayers to pay more money hey it's christmas season go ahead do get me do, do wrong you know but i think that we should have done something before we can say oh, let us put up trees so there's a, a level of standing where the people are comfortable and enjoy truly enjoy christmas but we're putting the people in problems but we put in bright lights as if there's lady ladybugs flying in circles around light because it's bright light blinking light oh christmas is on brothers and sisters we have to wake up that is a very true statement right there. Dominicans are strange people. Some Dominicans are strange people. They fight in the very opposition that is supposed to help them when they realize, not realizing the problem is this very government that is in position, screwing up the nature of the Caribbean. All you fighting against the wrong person. I've been saying this for the longest while. Human beings just doesn't hear. Or maybe they know they're just equally as wicked as the very people at the top. I mean, they're voting for them doing the, the wickedness that they do. Dominica CBI money is used to give free housing with no title. CBI money is being used to generate economic activity. That will not be just beneficial for some, but for all. Even though they're giving a few, a people 250 or $500, whatever it is, brothers and sisters. The bulk of that money is being put into that of which they are. The product. The GDP product. Which of course is tourism. And they're doing it well. Yeah? They're doing it well, yes, man. They're doing it well. And of course, there's always room for improvement. You know, they're doing their thing. And they're ensuring that the people get a little something. They're feeling like they are part of it. Dominicans don't even know what they are part of. We hate having a hotel, a, a mansion hotel thing, 28 story building in Dubai. You think you can go there and spend a night? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead then, brothers and sisters. The DLP government cannot operate a small airport without toilet, lighting, water, and other issues. Brothers and sisters, that is a factory. I remember when Siri went to the airport and he was looking at it. They had a bottle. Brothers and sisters, a bottle. <laughs> they had a bottle in the to on, on the side. So when you use the bathroom, you can then pour the bottle of water in the airport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They had a bottle of water on the side so they can pour to flush the toilet in the airport. How the heck can they operate an international airport? Yes. But the sisters, like I said yesterday, there's always steps to go to the next level. Or true? If you're going to handle the first step, reaching the end goal is going to be chaotic because you won't be able to handle the end goal if you can't even handle step one, mes amis. How are you going to handle the end goal? You can't handle the present airport that we have right now. <sighs> How the heck they can operate an inter international airport? Security is a disaster. That's a fact. The only sector which is thriving in Dominica is 
Melissa Melissa C. Skets. Exactor. <laughs> I was going to say something else. But hey, Melissa C. Sector. Is it true? Oh boy. I was going to show another, vi uh, another video, guys, but I think I'm going to leave it right there, man. I think I'm going to leave it right there. I think this is how this reaction should be. <laughs> okay. What are your thoughts on the things that we talk about here today, brothers and sisters? What are your thoughts? But at least we can see at least there's some Christmas share going on for the elderly folks. It's just that we wish that that could be what we see in there could show some comparison, some 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 caring, you know, some com 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 I did compassion, brothers and sisters. I just play too much. <laughs> some compassion, brothers and sisters, you know, so show the care at least that is can be a reflection of how they would like to see Dominica. Want to see Dominica do better. Not make Dominica dependent and then kill the economy. A man have to be going and have you like a king. Hey, give me something, please. <sighs> well, at least thank God is have online jobs. So you wouldn't go here too much. Make some us dollars, brothers and sisters. Make some us dollars. Right there. Anyways, this is your boy Mr. Leaks on this year. Mr. Leaks reacts. Check out the previous reaction I did on the BRBBTV YouTube platform. That link will be the first comment in the comment box below, guys. And of course, with that said, <laughs> be real, be positive. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video.